Hello and welcome to the MySQL um, tutorial part 2. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be uh, basically making a table and I'm going to show you the structure of making the table and then uh, inserting data um, into it in the very simplest of formats. Um, I'm sure you're very um, good at HTML and PHP already if you're moving on to MySQL so I'm not going to teach you um, stuff that you don't need to know already. OK, so let's just move straight on. We've got our index.php. We've already made our um, connection to our database. So the first thing that we're going to do is basically make um, some variables uh, to insert. I'd, I'm not going to write any um, HTML out and input fields. So we're just going to simply make these here now. So surname, this is what's going to go into the database. Uh, email equals info at formdesign.de obviously you would do this um, dynamically with a, um, a form and so on but for time constraints I'm sure you know how to um, make a form already um, if you don't then have a look at one of my other tutorials um, and it will let you know ok so email and then we've got comments equal this and then we have we have dates equals dates function and then we've got y, n and d so we've got year and then the month and then the dates and then we're going to have the time equals uh, dates and we've got h colon i colon s ok so that's all of our information that we're going to insert and let's move over to PHP my admin let's make a database so let's call it guestbook because it's pretty much a guestbook we need eight fields. We need an ID, which is auto increments, name, surname, email, website, comments, dates, and time. So we'll put eight here and then go. And then that will give us the option here. So we're going to make ID, first of all, not if. And we're going to leave it as an integer because it's a, a number. And the attribute is going to be unassigned. And it's going to be the primary key. And it's going to be auto increments. So the next thing that we're going to have is name. And I've done this already. And we'll have it a varchar 255 and we'll have surname and the same again varchar 255 email varchar 255 and then website varchar 255 and then comments we're going to have as text because it can hold more data and it also can have um, line breaks with inside of it and we want the dates in here which is the date here and then we want the time as well which time is down here there it is ok and then nice and simply save and if you don't have any errors come up you should just have the PHP here or the MySQL um, here so that's it done now let's just refresh this page and as you can see now the guestbook is here which is cool so now all we need to do is insert um, some stuff inside of it obviously because it's empty at the moment so let's come to here and we make our um, our, our MySQL query so we're just going to say query equals MySQL query open brackets uh, open quotation marks and what we're going to say is insert into uh, guestbook which is the table name values ok open brackets and inside this we need um, let's just come to a new line we need that two three four five six seven and eight ok so the first one um, is is going to be empty because it's uh, auto increments and it knows it's a number already so we don't need to fill it out next one's going to be name next one surname next one email next one website next one comments next one date and next one time ok that's pretty much it done and then like a semicolon onto there and that is pretty much it finished so let's control S to save come to uh, localhost it's a blank page because we haven't echoed anything out and I'm just going to refresh the page no errors come up which is good come to the guestbook we can browse it and we can see already the information went in. The date went in perfect, 12 to 12 and time, 10.30 at night time. Emails in and then the comments as you can see if we come and edit 
um, the page, you can see that it's gone in with the line breaks as well, which is exactly what we wanted. Um, because the varchar, it doesn't do any line breaks, it just gets rid of any white space uh, and so on. Now obviously if this was a guestbook, um, then you'd want to remove, strip any tags from all of these, which would be a simple thing of saying strip tags. Um, but I'm sure you know that already, so we're not going to do that in this. Um, but anyway, that's this tutorial pretty much done. Um, in the next tutorial, uh, we're going to retrieve uh, this data and display it out uh, on a web page. Okay, so my name's David Thorne. Um, thank you for watching. Um, visit me at www.thornwebdesign.de. If you've got any questions, please come and do not hesitate to ask me. I will respond to every single email um, within 24 hours. And if you've got any ideas for any tutorials that you would like me to do, then please once again um, tell me exactly what you need to know and uh, I will try and do it within seven days. I normally do tutorials uh, on a Sunday, so get your request to me um, prior to a Sunday and hopefully they'll be on by the Monday. Um, uh, please subscribe to me, it's hugely important. The more people that, that subscribe, uh, the more tutorials I will do. Um, so uh, yeah, it takes two seconds to subscribe. Okay, thanks very much for watching um, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.